Hello students, I hope you all are preparing well for the upcoming CVT exam, which is scheduled to be held in March 2024. So we at AgriVision for you have found out some good previous year questions for SCQP 12, that is for your food science and technology, and we'll be discussing them in, in this video. So stay connected with us. This is the part one of the video. In this, we'll be discussing some important questions which were asked earlier in the CVT exam. I am Devansh Gupta, your mentor for MSc Food Science and Technology, that is for Pondicherry University, Central University of Punjab, BBAU, and other related universities. So we'll be here discussing about some doubts and queries for your upcoming CVT exam. So going straight away with the first question we have. Which of the following are the common adulterants for the red chili powder? This question was asked in CUT 2022. So they are asking about the adulterants which are asked in red chili powder. So as we know that red chili powder is commonly adulterated with something that ought to be red in color. So metal in yellow, as we know, it is yellowish in color. Then red tomato, it is also yellow in color. Sudan red is red in color. Papaya seeds are used for adulteration in black pepper because of their similar size. Then brick powder. It was traditionally used as an adulterant, but now Sudan red dye is a much more common adulterant. But according to according to the question, these two comes as the most appropriate question option for this question. So C and E is the best option for this question. So we have to mark C and E that comes out to be fourth as the most appropriate question for this answer. We have already discussed this question in our class, so you may have been related to that topic. Then coming to our next question, we have yeast is used as a leavening agent in the preparation of so we know yeast is a biological leavening agent that means it is of your biological nature other leavening agents are also there that can be your chemical nature apart from that water as a steam can also be used as a leavening agent along with your air so breads are leavened by yeast then bagels are also leavened by yeast then soft pretzels are also leavened by yeast but these muffins and cookies these two are leavened by your baking soda or your baking powder depending on the type of recipe you are using either it will contain cacao or not so it depends on whether which type of recipe you are using and then you will use baking soda or baking powder but ideally muffins and cookies are leavened by your baking soda or baking powder so yeast is usually Leaven used in the leavening of bread, bagels, and soft bread gels, and it makes us as the first, which is your A, B, and C as the right option. This question was also asked in CUT 2022. Coming to the next question, we have we have to match the TSS, that is your degree bricks total soluble solids. And we have recently discussed this topic in our class, which was about food, fruits, and vegetables technology. And we were discussing about how this TSS works and the working of refractometer. So if in case you want to have the in-depth study of all the topics, you may join our course, which is for SCQP 12, Food Science and Technology. We are having regular classes for that. And we have been taking classes since October 2023. And soon we'll be having a crash course for that. So you may join in that and we'll be having deep insights for all of the topics. So coming back to the question, we have to match the TSS. So we know that RTS had the TSS of your 10, then squash has a TSS of your 45, then synthetic beverages, since they do not contain your fruit juice and they are synthetic in nature, that means there can be incorporation of some artificial flavor like bubblegum flavor or some blueberry flavor, which may not be uh, due to your uh, blueberry juice and all. So for that, it is uh, your 70 to 75 because in that high amounts of sugar are used to compensate for the juice we are adding. Then jelly has a TSS of around 65 which makes our third question as the fourth part as the answer that is your three, one, two and four. So the correct option for this question is your third, fourth part. So it was also asked in 2022 COET. Coming to the next question, we have to match the scientific names of vitamins and this topic we discuss in our class, I guess in November. So you can very well relate with this topic. So vitamin C has the scientific name as ascorbic acid. Vitamin B12 is known as cyanocobalamin. Vitamin B6 is known as pyridoxin and vitamin B1 is your thymine. So question one has third part as the right answer. That is a three, one, four, two. This question was also asked in CUT 2022. Coming to the next question, we have specify the correct sequence of steps during the bread processing. So this is a very easy question. So first of all, we have to go with weighing and mixing. Then we'll go for kneading because first of all, we have to knead all the ingredients together. Then we'll go for initial proofing. That means we have to go for proofing. Then we'll go for shaping and then we'll go for final proofing and breaking. So this is the ideal flow chart for your bread manufacturing process, which makes out as a third option as the right answer for this question. 
So this question was also asked in CVT 2022. Next question we have arrange the order of events taking place during the poultry processing. So you all know this question is from meat products technology. So in that we'll be discussing about the poultry processing and poultry are generally related to as we discussed in the class are related to the birds and the small birds which are used for your meat purposes. So first step in any processing of meat animal will be your stunning. So stunning will be your first step. Then we'll be go for scalding and defeathering. And as we discussed in the class, scalding is a process which is done to uh, ease the defeathering process. We'll be dipping the dead uh, animal inside hot water so that the defeathering process is very easy. Then singeing is there. I, I discussed this very clearly in the class that we'll be using a blowtorch for uh, blowing away all small hairs and small feathers which may be present on the human bo animal body. Then washing is there. Then evisceration. That means the removal of the gut or viscera of the animal. Then we'll be going for chilling and draining and storage of the animal. So which comes out of the third part as the right option that is your D, A, B, C and E. So third part is the right answer for this question. And it was also asked in CVT 2022. Coming to the next question, we have match the following. So Newtonian liquid, Bingham plastic, pseudoplastic and dialtan. So dialtan is your honey. Then Newtonian liquid is your water. Then Bingham plastic is your uh, mayonnaise and pseudo plastic is your tomato ketchup, which makes out as the third option as the right answer, which is your four, three, one and two. So this is your ideal sequence for this question. And uh, it was also asked in CVT 2022. Coming to the last question of our video, sandiness is observed in ice cream at high temperature conditions. And second is that sandiness in ice cream is caused by lactose crystallization. So I guess I told you this topic in when we were discussing about the dairy products. So sandiness is usually observed when uh, you will go for slow freezing process and it is not at all achieved at high temperature condition. It is always because of the freezing conditions. So this is wrong, but this option is correct. That means sandiness in ice cream is caused by lactose crystallization. So you can very well observe when you are consuming any ice cream also. So if in case it is froze, uh, frozen by your slow, slow freezing, in that case you can very well assume and very well uh, observe that the texture of the ice cream is not very smooth and it has sandiness in it. So which makes out as the fourth option as the correct option because A is not correct, but B is uh, correct. This was also asked in CUT 2022. So this was all for this video. We discussed eight questions from year 2022. And in next video, we'll be discussing some more questions from your 2022 paper. So stay connected with us very soon. We'll be posting our part B for this video in which further eight questions will be there. And in further more videos, we'll be discussing some questions of 2023 also. So if you want in-depth insights of all the topics, you may join our course and we'll be discussing them in very detail. All the best for your exams and stay connected for your part two. And also do subscribe to AgriVision for your channel and press the bell icon so you get updates of all the videos which we post. Thank you all the students. Yeah.